you know, there's uh, definitely the clinical symptoms, which we can often see, uh, which can be significant swelling, pain, decreased range of motion. Uh, those, and, and some patients have very large joint effusions. Um, those are a lot of the symptoms that can affect quality of life. And gauging uh, those symptoms in the sense of how well a surgery can alleviate those and, and what has been the pattern for the patient and what is the expected relapse rate. Um, and some patients, you know, surgeries can really alleviate those symptoms for a significant amount of time and other patients, not so much. What also happens over time is you can get joint destruction, right? Which is a different feature than what the tumor is actually itself doing. Um, so the orthopedic surgeon also has to think about ways and when they may need to preserve the joint, right? And that becomes an important concept as well. Because the orthopedic oncologist really still remains the entry uh, place for many of um, patients with TGCT into the clinical care spectrum, when we think about what we have to offer from a medical oncology, it's, it's their evaluation of when they feel uh, repeated surgeries won't help the patient, right? And that's the time that they will often send the patient to a medical oncologist to start to think about medical management. 